Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing white chocolate raspberry pie. Yes, white chocolate raspberry pie and it is so delicious. So what we are going to do is start with our protein. And we're actually going to do four scoops of vanilla protein. And then once you get the four scoops of vanilla protein, you are going to move on to your formula one. So we will be doing French vanilla formula one. And since I did four scoops of protein, I'll be doing eight scoops of the French vanilla, which is going to make the pie equivalent to four shakes. So there will be four meals in this pie. Or you can do a half of that and it can be a snack. But this pie is going to be equivalent to four meals that you can also eat as just snacks to curve a sweet tooth or just have a healthier option for your kids. There's plenty of reasons why to have this amazing pie in your house at all times. <laughs> so now we are going to grab a box of white chocolate jello mix. Make sure it has the blue on it because that is what makes it the sugar-free box. Yes, sugar-free jello mix white chocolate. I will link it below just in case you have trouble finding it in the stores. But this is one full box of white chocolate sugar-free jello pudding mix. So I will put the whole box in there with the formula one and the protein. And I am just going to go ahead and uh mix all of the products together and I'm sorry if you hear grunting I am holding my one-year-old son <laughs> while I am recording this voiceover so now I am going to grab my almond milk and this is two cups of vanilla almond milk and I am just going to start by folding in a little bit of milk at a time just because I don't want to get overwhelmed with the products and the milk and stuff falling everywhere so I just do a little bit at a time and this is the almond milk that I use, um, the vanilla almond milk that we keep in our house so it's most convenient for me to use in the recipe as well. So I'm going to mix in all of my almond milk, put the rest of it in now and I really hope yeah. that you guys enjoy this recipe and if you do just like comment subscribe and share with your Herbalife family let me know if you try the recipe and if you like it so now I am going to finish mixing in everything I don't have an automated mixer I'm going to invest in a new one the one I had before it broke and I just never bought a new one and now that I'm making all these recipes I think I should invest in another one so now you see me here with my sugar-free Smucker's um, preserves, aka jelly. <laughs> I'm going to just put two scoops of the red raspberry sugar-free preserves right into the pudding mix. And I'm just going to mix it in to where you can't even see that it's swirled in because it's just going to be mixed in there like that. So now that I have everything mixed together, this is the crust I'm going to use. If you do the individual pies in the cups, you can just crush up some graham crackers to make it easier. But since I was making a full pie for my family, I just decided to grab one of these graham crusts. I did let you see the label in case you wanted to check it out, pause it and read it. So with that, I'm just going to go ahead and dump all of my ingredients from the bowl into the pie crust. And y'all know me, I don't like the waste products, so 
I'm just going to sit here and scrape out all the product that's in here. And while you watch me do that, I just want to take a minute to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel, left comments, and also shared the channel. I appreciate all the love and support. I am trying to get back to everyone's messages. Um, I'm very overwhelmed with the messages I'm getting. So just bear with me and I will be able to get back to each and every one of you. And also Instagram, if you message me on Instagram, it tends to send you guys to the filters and I don't notice it. So it just takes me a moment to realize that I have messages waiting in my filtered box. But I will get back to you as quickly as possible. And now this is my Smucker's Caramel Sugar Free. And I am just going to drizzle that across the pie. And once I get all of that drizzled, I'm sorry, that's my son waking up. I'm just going to grab a spoon to just kind of curve it back and forth and it just creates more of a cute little design instead of it just being drizzled. Makes it more pie-like. So if you want to just be a little extra, you can go ahead and do that. Just takes a couple of seconds and it makes a really big difference in the way the pie looks. So now that I have all of that done, I am actually going to start with the red raspberries. You can leave it like this. This is perfectly fine. Just put it in the refrigerator. But I am going to be extra and add here some red raspberries around the entire pie. So I'm going to just set them right next to each other and it will outline the whole pie evenly. Um, never really had a problem with the fruit not fitting. I just guess it looked, but this pie, all the red raspberries went all the way around perfectly. And then after the red raspberries, I'll add a little bit of white chocolate. And I really hope that this recipe helps you guys and gives you new ideas. If you like the recipe, comment and let me know. If you try the recipe, take a picture and tag me on Instagram at I am dot Melissa Gibbs. That is where I communicate with the most of you. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, you can contact me there on Instagram. And please do not order Herbalife from Amazon. Um, just please don't. If you need a coach, get a coach. You can call Herbalife. I am so sorry for the noise. That is my son in the background. But hey, that's what the best thing about Herbalife is. You get to do this business around your children. <laughs> So, again, like, comment, subscribe if you tried the recipe, let me know. Share with your Herbalife family, and I hope all of you enjoy the rest of the video.